Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to this uh, latest Dawa webinar entitled Intelligent Display Solutions. Uh, for anybody that hasn't joined one of these webinars before, my name is Simon Nash, and I work for Dawa in the UK and Ireland. Uh, I'm speaking to you today live from our innovation center here in uh, our headquarters in the UK, in Maidenhead. Um, and for any uh, anybody that's a, a little bit worried about the background display, actually, it's not a spaceship. It's uh, it's our latest uh, one of our latest PTZ products, the Hubble. And um, we've actually done a webinar on that already. So if you uh, if you fancy finding out more about that, please check out our uh, our website. But today is all about display solutions, intelligent display solutions. So let's take a look at some of the uh, the subjects that we'll be covering throughout the course of the webinar today. To start with, um, perhaps we'll cover a subject that is perhaps not, not new to, uh, to many people joining today, but some of the technologies and the innovations that Dow was bringing to control room solutions is different. It, it is a differentiator. So I'd like to spend a little bit of time just focusing, uh, focusing on some of those solutions. After we've done that, we're going to change direction a little bit and, and talk about something that is perhaps not traditionally synonymous with the CCTV and surveillance industry. But we're finding more and more of our customers now uh, are interested in our digital signage solutions. So this is the ability to program and, and generate content and push it to uh, push it to displays, uh, maybe in a retail environment, for example, um, where, where really it can add a lot of value as well as providing a, a CCTV slash security function. Again, switching direction again to the, the third part of the, uh, of the webinar, and that's our interactive whiteboard solutions. So almost this is a, a, a webinar in its own right, but what we want to do today is to give you a little teaser, if you like, about our, our whiteboard solutions. Um, and, and again, if you find an opportunity for those in the future, then we're, we'll only be too willing to uh, help you. Uh, so welcome today. Um, we hope some of you are new to Dawa, and if you are, we'd like to give you perhaps a, a few reasons why, if you're not using us currently, uh, you may consider using us in the future. But often a question that, that is asked uh, is, where can you buy Dawa? So we'll talk about uh, some of our value-added distribution partners and, uh, and where you can purchase Dawa products if, you, if you're not already hooked up with one of those partners. Um, also, Q&A, just to touch on uh, Q&A. Q&A doesn't, uh, doesn't work in terms of audio very well on a, on a, a webinar format. So we have on, on the webinar, as you'll see on your screens, we have a chat box. Um, so please feel free to interact with us on, on the chat box. Um, here it, in, uh, in, in the Innovation Center, we've got a team of people waiting to, uh, waiting to answer your question. So if you have a question, please don't hesitate to, uh, to type it in uh, and we'll get back to you hopefully during the webinar. If not, then we'll respond to you later today. And my details are, are on the last slide as well. So if you want to contact me directly afterwards, please feel free to do so. Uh, it's great to see so many of you uh, joining today. Uh, Dawa runs many, many webinars, and all of these uh, webinars are, are uh, available for you to download either from our from our website, from our training site, uh, or from our YouTube channel. So again, there was a few QR codes, um, different ways you can connect and, and contact um, us here at Dawa UK, uh, and we'll only be too too willing and, and happy to, uh, to to talk to you and help you with your inquiry. Okay, so let's make a start. Uh, let's start by talking about our control room solutions. And as I said, it's a solution I'm sure a lot of you, many of you have been in control rooms before. Um, some of them may not, may not look as, uh, as glamorous um, as, as this control room, um, but what we'll do is we'll break down this control room into its component parts, and then we'll look at some of the solutions and the products that we have to, to address each individual area. One of the most prominent and prevalent areas of, of any of any control room really is the amount of displays. You walk into any control room and you see an awful lot of displays. That was leading the way, <coughs> excuse me, with our ultra thin bezel um, and a, a LCD range of products. And there's lots of different ways these can be mounted and we're gonna touch on that in, uh, in a little bit more detail later, later in the webinar. But at any, as I said, any control room features an awful lot of monitors. Um, and and uh, these used to be separate monitors that were addressed in monitor one, monitor two, monitor three, uh, when I started in the industry many years ago. Uh, but now they, the images can be stretched across multiple monitors. Um, th there's a whole range of different display options. But having the ability to address all of the monitors as one or as individual monitors is a really key, still is a, and remains a key feature of, of most control rooms. But when you have a lot of displays, uh, you need somewhere to, to, to drive, something to drive this, these, these displays. 
Um, so we have, um, if you like, a, a, we call it a data center. It's a room somewhere behind the um, uh, behind the, the displays, often an air-conditioned room. And this is where you, you have a lot of the display drivers. <clears throat> Maybe you have um, um, a KVM, uh, which allows the interface of different people into uh, in, into the uh, in, into the the control room, if you like. So one operator can control multiple devices, or they can control multiple monitors, multiple recorders, etc. So the data center often on the larger larger uh, control rooms will have um, a KVM uh, feature, and we'll talk in a little bit more detail about that in the coming slides. Also, um, a lot of the control rooms that we get involved in um, uh, across the world, and, and even even in the UK. Uh, they are very uh, very large projects, and some of them can can um, have up to 30,000 cameras and maybe even 180 monitors. If you get to that scale of project, then you need the ability to to um, address a lot of product at the same time. Um, DVRs and and decoders are not really going to going to cope with that workload. So th we make a range of matrices that can uh, that can support this. So matrices, think about them if if you're familiar with the analog world. Um, you know, it's switching cameras to monitors and driving different different displays. That's really all a, an IP matrix will do at the same time as uh, as controlling all of the display orientation. Um, also, having a control area is very key. So this is an area where we have a whole bunch of uh, keyboards. Um, operators often uh, maybe looking at the large screen, so that they're addressing the large panel. Uh, they're moving images around. They're calling different cameras to different monitors. They may be, if there's an incident, they may be stretching a, or displaying a camera across multiple monitors. So, the, so we have to consider the the functionality um, and, the, the, if you like, the the human, the operator interface into the system, uh, and that's via key, keyboards. Um, also, the operator area often they have um, additional monitors. So it might be as as traditionally has been called like a spot monitor. So this might be more of a traditional domestic type monitor. Uh, again, still could be LCD, uh, but it would potentially be desk mounting. Um, so, so an area where we have um, operators sat, and they may be doing investigations, they may be downloading video, they may be producing evidential quality uh, video for export. Uh, but that's all contained in the operator areas. Um, and finally, um, often in, in some of the larger control rooms I've been in, there are, a, a, if you like, a, a command center um, so this is often uh, for um, the, the police often often have this type of technology uh, and the military, whereby they have um, um, another room separately uh, where they can receive live information and live updates uh, about a particular incident. These tend to be used um, often in emergency situations. And again, we, we make uh, we make software uh, and, and monitors and, and drivers all capable of uh, being used in that type of application. And again, also, um, that they, they often contain a conference area as well. So again, linking back to the smart board, the intelligent uh, smart board solution that we'll be covering later in the webinar, uh, we have a um, in the conference area they can uh, they can often have one of those devices, and they will interface within the uh, the CCTV system. Um, you can use it to annotate, draw, uh, share information, share images, and share share content um, seamlessly between uh, between um, delegates in the uh, in the conference conference area. OK, so that's a traditional uh, an overview of uh, perhaps traditional, but a high end um, control control room solution. Um, let's have a look at the, um, the components just as a recap before we delve into each one in a little bit more detail. What well, to start with, we already touched on it. There are a range of LCDs panels. These come in a variety of, of um, aspect ratios. Uh, some of them are LCD. Um, some some of them are LED, so the the solution really is uh, is very much dependent upon the uh, the operator's need. Monitors again traditionally used for um, more of a spot monitor type function. So if you need to export video, if you need to investigate a particular scene or an incident, then often this is done within the uh, with, with it within the monitor itself. Um, keyboards again, we talked about that human interface uh, rather than using um, a standard mouse and a QWERTY type keyboard. Um, often operators find it much, much easier to use uh, to, to use a traditional uh, PTZ type uh, type keyboard. Uh, matrices, we talked about those. So when you have very large systems, sort of up to 30,000 cameras, 180 monitors, um, we need a lot more horsepower. 
the, the range of matrix systems provide, provide just that. Um, decoders, again, the, uh, the ability to stretch images across uh, multiple monitors is key. Often in many control rooms, if there's an alarm, an event, an alert happens, then you want to see what happens and stretch that image right across, uh, right across the, the monitor display wall that you have uh, in the control room. And finally, to make the interface, the human interface into the system easier than to have a, 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 a KVM, um, so the ability to control multiple devices from one operator or multiple screens from one operator. Very, um, and, and also to deal with the user management. So let's talk about each one of these in a little bit more detail. So to start with the, um, the, the, the monitor, um, traditionally monitors have tended to have a wide bezel. Um, so when we, when we moved from CRT monitors into sort of plasma, which I guess was the first generation, that first generation of, of uh, what was then called um, thin, thin monitors, um, had a, still had a wide bezel, so maybe 40 or 50 millimeters around each, all the way around the, uh, the display. So it makes it very difficult to stretch images across monitors when they have such a wide bezel. Um, and, and as a result, you were able to display less content. Um, they tended to be single use, so you, they were only suitable for, more, for smaller scenarios. Um, and they were okay. I mean, they, they didn't produce particularly high brightness. Um, and the, the colors were, were perhaps not as natural as they could be. So when you were trying to, for identification purposes, um, if, you were, if you had an incident, you wanted to identify accurately, say, the color of a subject's shirt, it wasn't always easy, it wasn't always easy to do. Um, LCD has brought a, brought a, a, lot, a big change to, to that. Um, and also we have LED as well, which uh, is, is actually what you can see on the, uh, on the large screen behind me. That's an, an, LED, uh, an LED panel. But LCD video walls have revolutionized control, control centers, as you probably have had experience of yourself. Um, they are ultra narrow bezel, which makes it perfect for splicing images together and stretching them across multiple displays. Um, you can display rich content such as surveillance images, traffic information, advertising, maps, Google, Google search, uh, maybe uh, a feed from Sky News. If uh, all of these information, all disparate sources of information can be brought together and displayed on on a, on 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 the uh, at the LCD video wall, um, suitable for larger applications again, such as command centers, as I touched on, maybe the military, maybe the police, uh, but even in large retail stores, they have hundreds and hundreds of cameras. The ability to be able to uh, to, to display all of that video content as it's needed is is really key. Um, as I said, is it, they are a rich color, a high brightness, and high resolution. But we're going to touch on that in uh, in, a, in, a, in the coming slides. So let's take a, just a quick look at uh, at that bezel width because we're always promoting we're always promoting this. So this is the distance, if you like, as, as you butt monitors up together. This is the distance between them. And again, when when they when when LCD panels started or plasma panels started off being uh, and became commonplace in the in control room environments, um, they had quite a large gap. So you know, six or seven millimeters. And gradually over time, the bezel uh, through manufacturing techniques used in, in producing the panel have improved. So too has the, um, the, the, the width of the bezel. And we're now down to 0.88 millimeters. So a very, very small distance between, uh, between the, um, the, the panels themselves. And as you, therefore you can see, as in that picture um, on, the, on the lower, on the right hand side, uh, when you stretch an image across it, it's almost seamless. If you want seamless, you need to go to, to a panel like I have behind me, uh, which is made up of individual LED segments. So you can have these things as, as little or as large as you, uh, as, as you wish. So that's um, the bezel, and, and that's the ability, as I said, to mount these things very close together. We'll talk about mounting techniques in just a few moments. But one of the other requirements we talked about was the need for high brightness. Um, and again, you can dynamically adjust the brightness so it, it changes with the, um, envir the lighting environment in the control room. Although often these days, there are lighting systems that maintain a, a constant light level in, in the control room. Um, so, so our LED panels can produce a, a brightness of 700 candelas per meter square. Uh, and whereas if you compare that with um, you know, some, some of the lower brightness competitors, they're down at 500. So the ability to produce that high, high, um, high image, high brightness, high resolution uh, with natural color is, uh, is really key to the, the Dawa LCD range. 
but as I said to said to somebody the other day, you know, I can tell you our pictures are great on our, on our monitors, and we can show you PowerPoint slide after PowerPoint slide. The test, the proof of, proof of the pudding is in the eating, as they say. So if you if you'd like to try one of these, please contact your local Dawa representative, and we'd only be too happy to uh, to loan you one of these products for your uh, for for your evaluation. Um, but installation of, of a panel is, uh, is, is very important. Often they are used just a, with, a, with a desktop stand uh, in single use. Um, but, but you've got to consider not only the physical connections, but also the, um, the ability to wire all of, the, all of this information together, all these different products together. So before we look at the physical installation, let's have a look at the electrical installation. Um, it can be very expensive to produce, uh, to purchase a, a computer with multiple HDMI drivers, multiple HDMI outputs. Uh, so our, our range of LCD panels uh, feature an HDR, HDMI input and HDMI output. So you can actually daisy chain four panels together. So you take one output from, from your PC, from your NVR, from your DVR, whatever it is, and you can, dri you can drive one panel and then daisy chain to four. And that image can be stretched across uh, the four monitors. So you, you, you have high display quality. Um, it's suitable for 24-7 operation. It's designed as a professional monitor. It's not something you've bought you know, on, 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 a retail, on a retail website. This is a, uh, this is a professional monitor for, for designed for use in a control room. Uh, again, we talked about the bezels, uh, flexible interfaces. So we have uh, you know, often DVI inputs. We have uh, HDMI um, and sometimes even composite, composite inputs. Uh, to, to these devices. So the interfaces are very flexible, but not only are the interfaces flexible, the, uh, the methods of mounting um, are, are also flexible. So at Dawa, we always like to think about you as the installer or the user of the, of the system. Um, so we have a range of different, uh, different mounting options for you. Um, on the left-hand side, you can see um, floor standing. So we make a range of hardware that can be attached to the back of the product uh, to make it uh, a floor standing, a freestanding, if you like, floor mounted, floor mounted product. So you can stack panels on top. Um, obviously, there are you know, there's a lot of safety issues with this, but again, we we give advice and we and we we make the necessary hardware to enable a safe and effective installation. One of the most common uh, one of the most common methods still of uh, of, of mounting a, an LCD panel to a wall is to use the Visa wall mount. So all of our monitors, as you would expect, are, are Visa com compatible. Um, so again, you can, you can install them in a, in a very simple and, and international standard way. Um, we also make a, um, a device, um, a, 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 a mounting bracket, if you like. It's more of a mechanism than a bracket um, for front maintenance. So we have them in our innovation center here in, uh, in Maidenhead. Um, so you, you screw the, um, the screw the panel uh, sorry, the mounting attachment to the to the to the wall. Uh, you attach, you you push it in, and then it it pops out at you. You can hang on the monitor, make the electrical connections, and then you gently push the monitor back into uh, to to its position, and it sits flush with all of its uh, neighboring devices. So again, you're able to maintain that that seamless interface between the two, the the ver and take advantage of the very small 0.88 millimeter bezel width. Um, and, and you're able to combine that with uh, the easy ease of the installation. And if you ever need to, to replace a panel, move a panel, uh, change the electrical connections, et cetera, then you just simply push the monitor back in. It clicks and pops out at you. You can remove it, replace it, and push it back in again. You don't have to uh, get involved in, in complicated processes in the back office and take, taking multiple monitors down, which, which can often happen if you rely on a method, for example, uh, wall mounted using using Visa technology. So that's the electrical connections and and that's the mechanical connections dealt with. Um, let's look at the um, the display for the for the monitor itself. Um, it it is very important, especially in a control room environment, that we're able to uh, regulate the amount of blue light coming from the monitor. We know I think it's internationally recognised that blue light can cause uh, damage to the retina. Um, so it is important that we um, we have uh, an anti-blue light technology which reduces the level of blue, which will um, pr protect, go some way to protect the operator from uh, damage caused by blue light. Um, again, um, some of the other key features, we talked about the, the bezel many times, uh, multiple inputs, um, they are low energy consumption. 
so they they're very they have a very good and long service life um, and they can support multiple sources as well um, the other thing uh, that we'll come on to in a moment is the uh, the horizontal and viewing angle so they have a very wide horizontal and viewing angle of 178 degrees but all of this equipment needs controlling um, and we touched on this earlier so Dawa make a range of keyboards that will allow um, interface of up to 30,000 different devices uh, controlled by one keyboard. So this is, you know, this is, these are large scale systems, but the solutions that we offer in terms of our keyboard range are fully scalable. So it may be that you're using one keyboard to perhaps control an NVR with maybe 16 cameras. That's fine, you can still use a keyboard. They're cost effective enough to be able to do that. But if at the other end of the scale, you want to control multiple, you know, maybe a, a couple of hundred different cameras and a monitor wall, with, multi, with maybe um, eight, or eight, eight or so monitors, you can do that too. So we make a range of different monitors with different features and functionality. Um, they, can all, they can support 4K um, or 16 channel, uh, 1080 simultaneous decoding and, and, uh, and display capability. So whatever the requirement is in terms of um, d input display and, and monitors, so cameras to monitors, um, you, the, the keyboard will, uh, will, will support that. But if you have that requirement in your control room, whereby you uh, you you want to um, stretch an image across multiple displays, uh, and you want to have the flexibility to to change the, uh, the functionality of that, then you would perhaps consider using um, a decoder for for that. Um, we we make a range of different decoders depending upon your uh, your requirement. Again, this is the ability to splice an image across multiple multiple monitors. Um, you can do single screen. You can do multiple screen. Um, you, there, there's, you can you can drag images. Uh, you can drag an image from one. Uh, just like if you're using a, at your at your on your desk, you may have two or three monitors on your desktop, and you can dra pick up a, an application. And you can drag it across multiple monitors. You can do that with camera inputs in just the same way using one of our decoders. Again, they all work in in HDMI, and they will all drive our range of LCD panels um, and then uh, and then just to look and touch on one of the subjects that we we looked at earlier the uh, the kvm so this is the user interface if you like so this is a, a device that the operator will interface to um, but but it does it in a remote way so often as we said and when we looked at the scenario in the control room at the beginning one of the early slides um, often you put the technology in in a separate data center in a control room maybe at the back behind the monitors and this is where all the PCs tend to run. Um, and, and within that within that cluster of PCs, perhaps you would have a KVM. And this deals with the interface of, of, to all, of all the keyboards and the operators in, into the system itself to control the various system components that we've talked about, like the decoder, like the monitors, like camera switching and the matrix, et cetera. By having it in a separate room, uh, we're able to reduce noise and heat dissipation. So again, it's very important that the control room is a, is a nice sterile environment. There's not lots of fans going. Um, that, that can be deafening in, in itself and cause, uh, cause the operators a lot of uh, inconvenience and, uh, and discomfort. Um, it also allows different, uh, different collab lots of collaboration with multiple devices. So one person to, can control a range of machines at, at the same time. So if you have a range of NVRs, even though they're separate boxes, um, the KVM would allow the, the operator to talk to all of them as if they were one single one, one single solution. Um, you could also talk from one, one person to multiple multiple screens at the same time. Uh, you don't have to change different um, keyboard if you have a QWERTY keyboard um, to, to mouse applications. You don't have to uh, you don't have to switch. You can the operator has a lot of um, improved convenience because they can use the standard set of equipment that it, that is in front of them. And in terms of data security, it's unified. It's in one place. It can be um, the room can be security controlled, so that the, the the chances of the equipment being tampered with are, are much reduced. So that's the human interface. Um, let's look um, before we look at the uh, the product reference list. Let's take just one one quick look at that matrix system. Not required for every application. In fact, I, you know I've only used these um, you, you know maybe a dozen times in in uh, in my career. But this is for the larger system where you are de designing like an, enter an enterprise class system where you're talking to thousands and thousands of different cameras 
and, and switching those to maybe up to 180 different uh, 180 different monitors. But when you when you choose a, a DAWA matrix, um, and there are a range of them depending upon your application, you get things as you would expect, like redundant uh, power supplies, uh, you've redu multiple fans to ensure um, su sustainability and reliability, um, and also stability, of course, of, of the system. So that the ability to have all that redundancy built into one box is really, really key if you have a large scale system. The last thing you want is, uh, is to have a single point of failure. So we build redundancy into, uh, in, into the products there. So in terms of um, control room solutions and products, here's really a quick summary. This is not for, for uh, discussion on, on the webinar. This is here purely for your reference. So if you are interested with any of the solutions or products that hardware that we've talked about during this first first part of the webinar, then please feel free to uh, to refer to this uh, this slide. Take a look at it. Use it for your reference. Again, if you have uh, if you want to evaluate or test um, or, or just play around, get hands on with uh, any of the technology that we've talked about for the control room, then please don't hesitate to uh, contact one of your local DAWA representatives or, or your uh, distribution partner. Okay. So that was control rooms. Let's um, let's move on to take a look at our digital signage solutions. So digital signage is very much um, perhaps a bit of a new area in many ways to uh, to some of us that have been in the security and surveillance industry for a long time. But it, it can represent to an excellent opportunity with, for just just to reach outside of our comfort zone a little bit. Um, and we will always support you with with this technology if you're trying to get into this market or you're trying to offer your customers, maybe you're working in retail, for example, to offer your customer width of wallet opportunities. So selling them more things, DAWA can help you to, to do that and to achieve that. And digital signage is a really, really good example of how we can begin. Uh, it is a bit of a blurred line between digital signage and surveillance. So often there's a bit of a crossover, if you like, of technology. So let's take a, let's take a bit of a look at, uh, look at that. If we think in terms of retail, as, as a use retail as a, a good example, it can be anything, um, and it could be fast food, it could be a retail store, et cetera. Then there is a, a lot of, um, we talk about it as conventional advertising. So this is very much, pretty much dull, static content. It's one-time use. Um, there's a high cost of production. Often this is things like posters, point of sale material. The, the you know customers, retailers have invested a lot of money it to, to generate this information. Um, so the high cost of production, it has to be installed. So somebody has to come in physically, um, physically mount the display, the poster or, or whatever it is um, and replace it when, when it becomes outdated. Um, it, it's difficult to manage across large estates because you, you need to be able to, if, you, if you're a retailer and you wanna have say a Christmas promotion, you wanna do it to all of your stores immediately. Well, if you're, you know, if you're a, nation, a nationwide chain, then the ability to be able to control that content is very, very difficult. It is a real pain point for, uh, for retailers. And let's not forget, again, a subject very uh, very dear to our heart at Dawa is, is the, the impact on the environment, producing all of this paper, all of this cardboard, and it all, gets, it all gets just thrown in the bin afterwards. Sure, some of it's recycled, but it's better if we can to use a, a one-time technology solution that can really help reduce, uh, reduce the environmental impact of all of this, uh, all all of this content. So the new way of advertising, and and I say new, it, it isn't particularly new in terms of uh, our, our perhaps our own retail experience, um, going maybe to a fast food store or, or into uh, into re into a retail environment. But it could be new to us. It could be new to you. It could be new to some of your your customers. So using digital displays, so again, you're building on some of the technology that we've talked about and finding a different application for displays, but this time, not only providing the display, but managing the content that is put on the display. So we can, with our, with our interactive displays, we can support uh, multimedia, different multimedia formats. Um, you can have a management system uh, that we'll, we'll talk about a little bit later. We can have a content management system so you you can create or, or centrally you can create the content for the promotion um, or, or whatever it is, and you can push that content at the click of a, uh, the click of a mouse. Uh, you can push that content simultaneously to all of the screens in all of the stores across the entire country. So a really efficient way 
of, uh, of, of overcoming many of the problems that we talked about earlier in conventional advertising. Um, also, um, the software is intelligent, um, so we can program. Um, you, can, you, can, um, you can schedule different, different content at different times of the day. So if you're maybe a coffee shop um, and, and you use an LCD, to, an LCD panel or one of the content, one of the panels for displaying maybe your menu, you could in the morning, say between um, 8, 8 and 11 a.m., you would have offers to do with breakfast. And then you could change the content at 11 a.m until maybe 2 p.m. for lunch and then in the evening you could you could change and, and make it I don't, I don't know you could whatever whatever um, is, is the requirement but the point I'm trying to make is that using the intelligent software you can manage the content depending upon the time of the day um, and again it, it is very easy on the fly to be able to, uh, to to change that it is very safe it's efficient uh, you don't have to send out contractors to, to uh, change the posters and, and the graphics that we uh, talked about with traditional points of sale and it is a growing market. Take a look at some of these growth figures. Um, so this is really, I mean, if we look at retail, catering, corporate, just transportation and public space, yes, maybe transportation and public space is growing at 5% for digital signage. But look at retail and catering and, and corporate, corporate use. You have some high growth numbers there. Dawa gives you the tools to take advantage of this growth in this, these particular markets. So this could be a very, very strong uh, a product line for you. If you're not uh, if you're not considering it at the moment, then please please take a look at it. If you want to try the product, let us know. Uh, we're happy to arrange uh, a demo um, or, or some uh, some trial equipment for you for you to have a look at. So you can have a look at the the different market opportunities in different verticals, and you can see which one best suits your uh, your your solution. So let's just delve in a little bit more and look at some of the solution values. So these are solution values associated with digital signage, the digital signage range from Dawa. So you can firstly, the, the key thing is, and this is where I talked about that gray line, that, that blurred line between traditional security and digital signage, is the integration possibility. It is possible with, with very simple integration to integrate our customer flow management technology, which is traditionally seen as a, a security application, whereby we can uh, control and regulate the amount of people uh, entering and leaving a store, you can integrate that with digital signage. So if you had a, a digital signage panel, um, uh, maybe at the entrance to a, to a retail store, you could display the red light to say the store is at capacity, but below that you could display all of the latest offers um, on, on, on the panel itself. When, when somebody leaves the store, there's enough capacity and the light turns to green and, let, and, and maybe opens the, opens the door and uh, allows access. But it's that integration of, uh, of, of technology from the flow management into the digital signage application whilst providing rich content at the same time that really makes uh, re really makes for a good integrated solution. As I said, it's intelligent, so you can control pinpoint target appli um, particular applications. So you can always remain um, always remain updated. Uh, the technology will, will allow, as I said, simultaneous broadcast of all content. To, to all devices at the click, a, click of a mouse. So again, it, it allows that transition to be made from, and it's still used, you know, it's still printed material, still used in many, many retail stores, but the cost doesn't have to be prohibitive. So please take a, take, take a look at this as a solution and consider it, offering it to some of your customers. Um, it's also very efficient. As I said, you don't have to send people out to, to physically change all the posters. Um, it is a powerful management platform. One person can, can, can control and display an entire content across um, a, a, a range of say a nationwide uh, a nationwide retailer or even a local a local retail maybe retailer maybe in a garage on a garage forecourt when you're filling up your car with fuel there's an there's a um, an interactive display there uh, sorry a, um, a digital signage product there and it's talking about you know if you spend over 30 pounds on fuel you get a free cup of coffee that sort of interaction is is really key so eye-catching, again, talking about enhancing the experience, promote in-store sales, example, the, re the petrol forecourt that I was just talking about. It's also very stable. Um, so having that, the ability to, uh, to, to the, the platform is very stable. So you can rest assured when you click, when you click broadcast or you click send of all that information, it's gonna go out, uh, gonna go out seamlessly to, uh, to, to, to all displays on the network. 
So we touched on the integration capability, um, and, and really this this slide tends to uh, tends to show very much that uh, that 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 integration working in uh, in real time. So what you have over on the left hand side is the traditional CCTV type applications. So we've got a, a range of cameras, NVR, and and obviously uh, a very large switch. Maybe I should reduce. I think that switch is uh, to scale, um, but maybe there's a lot of cameras. I don't know. But we have a switch. An NVR, uh, an NVR and a range of cameras. Those cameras have people counting capability, and the NVR is running a people counting, the flow management, the flow management technology as a security, a security and people counting application. But that's pushing information into the digital signage solution. And as you can see, maybe at the top, um, I hope you can see up here at the top of the uh, of the LCD, um, the digital signage product. You can see the red and the green. Or, or certainly in this case, the green LED showing that there is capacity in the store. And over on the right hand side, you've got the platform. So this is the platform where the content is generated, where the content is stored, where the videos are stored, where the little files are stored, the promotional material is stored, like the menu, um, the price list, etc. And all of that is pushed to the digital signage product. So you've got two sources of information, both pushing to the digital signage product. Uh, again, across Wi-Fi or LAN or um, or the internet, uh, and 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 then the content is is updated from the uh, the MPS platform, and the people counting uh, and the capacity is updated from the, uh, the 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 flow management solution. So a really really good example of uh, of, of integration and how these two uh, the two different technologies will both push simultaneously the information to the digital signage product. And one of the really key, if you are going to get into this, this is a key fact. So please re remember this. Remember this point. Um, the, the, when you buy the uh, the Dower Digital Signage Solutions, it comes with comes free with 20 licenses. So you can drive up to 20 digital signage products from the MPS platform software for free. It, that is included in the price. Most digital signage products that that I've ever experienced and that are available on the market. Most products have a per license, per display cost. Okay, we give 20 licenses free, so you can drive 20 different devices across the, wherever they sit on the network. Um, they can be anywhere in the same store or in multiple stores across the country. As long as they're linked back to the same platform, you can drive 20 different devices from the MPS platform. And then if you want to add 21, you pay one channel license. If you want to add 22, you pay for two channel licenses. So it's a per channel after that. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of our competitors in digital signage, you have to buy another block of 20. We don't. We give 20 for free, and then there's a per channel cost for, from that point onwards. So I hope, as I've been speaking, maybe you've thought about some applications for this. If you haven't, here's a few. So again, we've talked about many of these retail. Is, is an ideal application, fast food, coffee shops, banking, commercial, post offices, all of this sort of thing. Some of, the, some of these technologies are already adopted by, by many, of these different, uh, many of these different verticals, but it, it is interesting. It really is a, a, a good opportunity for you as, as a, a, a user of, of Dawa product, maybe you're an installer, uh, to, to perhaps offer your customers, your end users, um, a, a new value added uh, opportunity that can be integrated into existing technology. Um, as I did before, um, there is a, there's a list of products here and specifications. You, a, this is there for your reference, not for covering today, but we'll send you um, a PDF of these, uh, these slides a little bit later on today or, or tomorrow morning. Um, and again, please feel free to uh, refer to this slide if you need more information about our uh, digital signage product. So finally, let's uh, let's consider our interactive smart board solution. Again, this is a really really popular area for for Dawa. We sell many many of these uh, smart board solutions. We have them here at our innovation center, um, and also at uh, at our office in our northern office in Leeds. Um, this is uh, a, again a new growth area. Again, if you're not considering, if you if you haven't considered using this before, please do. This can expand the range of products. And give you as a as a Dawa customer a lot more flexibility and a lot more chance to make to make money with a, an industry leading um, innovative product. So let's take a look at uh, perhaps we can some of us can maybe relate to this. I, I spend a lot of time 
um, before lockdown in, in hotels, making different presentations over the years. So a lot of this I can really uh, relate to. This is in conference venues. So to start with, you, you might ask for a projector and you maybe before HDMI came along, you had the wrong cable. It, and I carry still to this day, I carry a whole range of cables with me as, as I travel around because nothing standard. Okay, HDMI has done a good job of, of beginning to standardize that. But even now there are still, you know, maybe there's a, somebody they operate, you want to, to interface maybe a Mac product, an Apple product into a display and you have to get a converter. Well, the non-unified interface problem is, is a problem that still exists. Um, but we can solve that with our, smart, uh, our interactive smart, smart board solution. Cluttered cables, yeah, I'm sure we can all relate to that. Complex operation, you know, how do I, how do, I do this? How do I connect? Why can't I get an image? Uh, poor clarity, um, not, not, sometimes products are out of focus. The, the projector lens is maybe not a, not a good quality. And if you're trying to, or your customers are trying to represent a, you know, a good brand, the first thing they, they want is a nice crisp image to, uh, to present about, about their technology. Dim vision, sometimes you have to reduce the light level because the projector, the bulb maybe is going, uh, going a little dim. Um, and there's no interactivity. It's very difficult to interact in, and get two-way communication between the audience and, uh, and, and, and the person presenting. So that's really a summary of some of the some of the problems or challenges, if you like, issues that can be faced in a conference environment. If we have a look at uh, education settings, um, again, traditional dry dry whiteboards are, are are used now, but there's an issue there of constant cleaning. Uh, pens are always running out. If often rooms are uh, air conditioned, they the the, board, the pens try to uh, tend tend to dry out. I, I seem to have this ability. Whichever room I go into, the the pens seem to be uh, to to be. Uh, dry and I, so I end up carrying pens with me. So constant cleaning, having to replace pens all the time is, uh, is, is an issue. Poor interaction, you know, it is one way, it's one way chalk and talk. So you are talking one way to, to a person or to the group, um, or the, it, it, the students in, in an education setting. Um, so it's very difficult to make interaction. And because often classrooms tend to be uh, quite high, high lighting levels because of uh, they need to be able to see what they're writing, um, it makes it very difficult to uh, to read the information on the on the display because often images are um, are displayed on a whiteboard, uh, and again that's not very reflective. And it, and if you buy one that is that is reflective, it costs a lot of money. Um, also limited resource. If you're if you're writing on a on a whiteboard, um, for example, and you want to reference the internet, you got to go and you got to go somewhere else, and you've got to do that uh, maybe on a mobile device. But you can't display that mobile device. On, 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 the, on, the, on the monitor or on the display. Uh, so limited resource, and of course it's not engaging. So uh, often, um, often it's difficult to maintain the attention span of people because it's really not an engaging two-way interface. So a far better way is to look at an interactive solution. And again, this can really uh, represent if, if you're not currently using our, um, our smart board solution, please really consider using it. it is, an excellent tool for not just conferencing centers, but also education settings as we uh, we looked at just now. Um, it is the combination, if you like, of an ultra high definition display with a smart display with interactivity. And all of those three things combine, if you like, to produce our uh, smart, smart board solution. So the installation is easy, the deployment is quick, it's efficient. It's just like mounting another monitor on, on the wall. It is very, uh, very simple. And when you look at the, when we, as you'll see on the next few slides, that when you look at some of the capabilities that this, this product has, you'll realize uh, what a great opportunity this represents. As I said, we'll, we'll probably do a, a webinar on, uh, on smart boards in, in their own right, because it is quite a complicated, uh, quite a complicated subject. And there is a lot, of, uh, a lot of different technology features and customer benefits to talk about. But let's give you a highlight today. So let's go back to, uh, as we always do at Dow, well, we go back to what's the actual customer requirements. So customers tell us they want a high definition display. They want to be able to display the signal from multiple inputs. They want simple operation and they want high quality. So they don't want a, you know, an unreliable system that's con that consists of different boxes connected together. They want a very, very simple, um, easy operation, uh, flexible solution. So. We have, in far, as far as the um, high definition is concerned, 
we have the the high definition capability all the way through to 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 the quality of of the build and the product so our solution uh, our solution values therefore represent those or, or reflect those customer requirements that, uh, that that we often get told so we have a 4k ultra high definition resolution a uhd display so we can display 4k resolution full 4k resolution on on the display okay and we have a viewing angle of 178 degrees making it an ideal application for education and conference uh, conference solutions we have a, a a dual system it comes as standard with an android operating system or you can plug in um, an optional windows card and, and make it windows as well and you can select between the two at the switch of switch of a device and that's important uh, as you'll see in the in the coming slides one of the other features a really popular feature and and again when we have um, when we have sales meetings here um in in, in our in, in our conference room next door um then we we have often want to share information so different people different delegates can share information with a click of a button they can present what's on their pc on the main screen and that really does that really does represent a, 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 a totally a flexible system that uh, that really helps when it comes to information sharing uh, you don't have to go to the front of the room change the wiring you can just click up a button and you can project your image from your uh, from your from your laptop from your smart smartphone from your tablet in the click of a button the system is also very very stable so it's designed for 24 7 operation um, if you if you want it to be that then the, the system is of course very stable and reliable so let's go back to look at some of these solution values in, in a little bit more detail. Um, as far as clarity um, and, and uh, definition is concerned, I touched on the fact it's 4K resolution. So you're getting full 4K resolution um, right, across the, uh, right across the display. And if you compare, I, I know it's a PowerPoint world, but we've tried to simulate that as much as possible. Uh, when you compare that to 1080, you, know, you have the opportunity to zoom in using, uh, using 4K. So in just the same way you can on your smart smart device, whether it's a phone or tablet, uh, you can use uh, you can use your two fingers to to zoom in um, or and, and do this, and you can move images around around the display really really simply. But because you've got that 4K resolution, ultra high definition resolution, you have a really good uh, really good base to to uh, to start from and zoom in to. I mentioned the fact that it's a uh, a dual system. So the system is selectable between Windows, um, sorry, between Android and Windows. Uh, Android is uh, is embedded as a as a standard technology, and Windows is an optional module that you can plug in. Uh, it supports the downloading of different apps. Um, it's got compatibility with all different sorts of devices in video formats. Uh, auto switching to select uh, to select all of those, um, and it's a one touch switch as I mentioned. So you can switch between uh, different applications. Um, and and the, the perhaps one one application from from what maybe one person at the conference might have an Android device, and another person might have a Windows device. At the, at the, the click of a click of well, you're just a touch of the screen, uh, you can you can switch between the different different operating systems, and then back again. So again, that user experience is really really uh, really really improved. And you think about how to do that in in the old fashioned the old fashioned way. Uh, maybe using uh, you you know using a projector very very difficult to be able to to do that or much more time consuming one of the other values i said is the um the viewing angle so this is 180 degree the the the, the, the devices themselves the smart boards have 180 degree viewing angle so it making it ideal for uh, conference and education applications uh, so if you have a row of desks at the front uh, you you could do that the the other the other advantage of using smart boards com again compared to projectors you, you need to be some distance away when you when you put a project if you're going to have a, a nice high resolution projector you maybe need to be four or five meters away from the screen if you have a, a big conference room that's not a problem but if you have a smaller facility like a um, you know an office conference facility or um, a, a school um, maybe a school classroom then with a with a projector it's very difficult to produce a, a big image but with a panel uh, you can get right up close to it and with that wide viewing angle you can ensure that everybody um, sat either on the far left hand side or the far right hand side is able to uh, able to get an excellent viewing viewing angle 
And because often classrooms and conference facilities have windows, um, the, the, the panel features an anti-glare design. Uh, so so you, it cuts down the reflection uh, from, from external light sources like windows. Um, I touched on the, the wireless interaction as well. So this is the ability at the click of a button to be able to say, I want to share my content with, uh, with the screen. Uh, so you could do that through, uh, through wireless sharing. Uh, very, very simple to be able to uh, be able to do that. Um, and then to look at uh, to look at smart writing. Um, so again, the ability you don't have to worry about pens drying out. You can use your finger. You can write on the on the display on, with your finger, and it will uh, it will display that image. That can be exported. All of those pages can be saved. Um, you can download at the end of the presentation. You can uh, you can have a QR code. And all of the all of the slides, all of the presentation notes, all of the the the, the scribbling and the and the uh, annotation that's perhaps occurred during the uh, during the conference will all be saved and can be downloaded just by somebody scanning a QR code. So smart writing again, finger and and uh, also touch pen, we, we, we which comes supplied as standard. Um, the touch pen, not the finger, that is. Um, high precision, uh, one millimeter control, so very, very, or less than one millimeter control. So the ability to move very, very um, fine amounts of, um, uh, of distance between as you're dragging and moving items around the, uh, uh, the display. Um, also, uh, various tools are available, so um, such as rulers, if you want to do a, you know, a scale drawing, uh, you can do that. If you want to measure something, somebody says, well, how big is that? Okay, well, you can use the, one, of the, uh, one of the tools available. Uh, one of the smart tools that's available. And finally, uh, multi-screen display. Um, so you can uh, drive up to four image, or sorry, up to four image signals can be displayed on the screen simultaneously. We've got a few different, just showing you a couple of different options of display display modes here um, on, the, uh, on, on, the, on the graphic. Um, you, one of those images could be, um, you could be a web browser. Uh, so you could easily, from from the from the the, the smart display itself, um, you could access the internet. You could maybe, if somebody asked a question, uh, okay, let's Google it, and you you could do that actually on the panel itself. It is it is a network device, um, in just the same way as I showed you earlier with the the wireless connection from a from a remote device. It can be connected to the internet, so you can use it as a a web browser if you want to have a stream from maybe Sky News or what, whatever the application is. Um, the, then the, um, the smart board will, uh, will support it. And as I did on the other two sections of the webinar, here's a list of uh, model numbers and features, again, for your reference. If you, uh, if, if you need that, please feel free to uh, refer to it. We make a range of different, uh, different options, hardware, mounting solutions. Uh, all, it can be wall mounted, it can be floor mounted. We make, we make um, um, stands and bases for it to to, uh, to meet every particular application so again there's a, there's a reference there if you uh, if you need that so um finally just to uh, just to wrap up the last uh, last couple of slides uh, if you're not currently using dawa we hope that you will consider using us in the future uh, i'd like to just share with you very quickly some of the reasons why you, you, we hope you will uh, choose dawa products the, the first thing is, and I hope it's been a theme that's been featured throughout the course of this and other webinars, is that we put the center, the customer at the center of our product development. It's not just a line on a PowerPoint presentation. It's actually inwardly, germanely part of who we are at Dawa. We listen to the needs of the customer. We like to deliver unparalleled quality and reliability. You know, all, the, all, the, all the way through this, this webinar today and others, we talk about the reliability. We talk about the quality of the product, okay? Because it's important if you're an installer of our product or you're, you're deciding to, uh, to, to, to choose a Dawa product, we want to make sure that you, you don't regret that decision. So producing a, a quality product with high reliability is really important. We work in partnership with not only our key installation partners, but also our value-added distributors. Um, so again, we, we don't sell direct to, uh, to anyone. We, we work through value-added distributors, and you'll see a slide next on, the, uh, on, on, on who they are and how to buy. Um, we bring innovation to the security industry using AIoT. A lot said about AIoT. It, it, it's a marriage, if you like, of artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. Dawa's leading the way in, uh, in, in bringing those two 
dif different technologies together to, to offer the security industry many different uh, advantages. We deliver innovative customer solutions using uh, the latest technology. There's nothing we like more than for a customer to say, to challenge us, to, to give us the problem that, that, that keeps them awake at night, that, that affects their business. And we love to use technology, our technology, to find a solution. I, you know, I'm working on a solution at the moment. We don't, we don't currently have a solution for the customer, but we're trying to find one. We're bringing together different bits of technology to really, uh, to, to really solve the customer's challenge. That's what we do put the customer at the center of our product development. And we do that because we invest a lot of money in research and development. And last year, we invested almost $400 million on research and development. Um, much of that research and development money is spent helping to reduce our carbon footprint. That's not just in the sense that we recycle the paper from our office or we use environmentally friendly packaging. It's about the design of the product. It's creating low power product. It's about developing our range of solar technology. It, and of course, all the, the green recycling, um, the recycling things as well. But we're committed to reducing our carbon footprint. And we can provide an end-to-end -end solution. So really, from not only from the camera, uh, all the way through to the display, if you're uh, talking in a CCTV application, but being able to bolt on different things to provide a total end-to-end -end solution for your customer. We do that generally. We can do that generally on our on our own, but there are many applications where we need to work with integration partners. Often people don't don't just want to rely on a manufa one manufacturer for everything, or maybe there's an incumbent manufacturer they have an existing relationship with. Well, we therefore work with over 300 different integration partners in our eco partner program, whereby we can we can really um, allow end users to to leverage existing investments that they have and bring new technology to, to that at the same time. And finally, we, um, we adopt all of the um, international safety and environmental standards, uh, whether that be pollution from our factory or safety, safety for our, uh, our manufacturing facility or in our offices um, in, in the UK. We, we adopt all of those latest uh, technologies. Okay, and therefore, finally, uh, where to buy um, if, you, uh, if you're not uh, you, if you don't have an existing uh, relationship with one of our distribution partners, then there are eight of them to choose from in the UK and Ireland. Please feel free to, to reach out to uh, any of these any of these companies. Um, I'll leave that slide there, and we'll circulate it after the uh, after the presentation. I say I'm sure there's some very familiar names to uh, to, to many of you on on this slide. So if you uh, if you if you are if you're not using Dawa product, then I would encourage you to give it give us a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. We 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 have an excellent product lineup. We could we have a solution almost for every customer. Um, we, we have a massively expanding uh, product range, um, led led by innovation as we uh, as we move forward. So if you if you are using Dawa, we thank you very much. If you're not using Dawa, please give us a try. Contact one of our value added distribution partners on on the slide, and we look forward to working with you. Uh, we do have an upcoming event, uh, just as a bit of a plug. Uh, a smart, smarter together. This is working with some of those eco partners uh, that I talk, talked about um, in, in the previous slide. So again, this is talking about our integration capability. So it is a it, it is a partner day. I think it's the first of December, Tuesday, the first of December. Again, there's a QR code for you to scan to find out more information and to enable you to uh, to register for that uh, for the, for that event. Uh, we have um, I think another webinar coming up on the second of December. I think. Um, we're, we're, and we will publish more information about that uh, in, in the coming days. In fact, we'll send you information uh, when we send you this slide deck. Uh, we'll, we'll send you some information uh, about the upcoming webinar as well. So it only remains for me to say thank you very much. I can see we've um, you've got a lot of our techie guys here answering questions. A lot of them have been typing away on their computers. So uh, thank you for the questions that you've uh, you've sent in. Thank you for uh, attending this webinar today. If you have any questions, uh, please, again, still use the chat. Contact your local DAO representative or one of our distribution partners, or you can contact me directly, and those are my contact details there. So in the meantime, thank you very much for attending. Uh, stay safe, and we we'll look forward to talking to you on the next webinar. Thanks very much.